In this webcast, we're going to take a look at an intramolecular version of the aldol addition reaction. In this example of a mixed aldol reaction, again, we have two carbonyl components. However, in this case, they just happen to be connected to the same molecule. Therefore, an intramolecular version of the aldol addition reaction can take place. Now, when you think about carbonyl chemistry and enolate chemistry specifically, you always need to identify the alpha carbons that can be deprotonated. In this molecule, there are four positions that can be deprotonated. At this alpha carbon, this alpha carbon, this alpha carbon, and this alpha carbon. Now using our knowledge of the stability of cyclic structures, we should be able to predict the product that is formed. If an enolate is formed at this alpha carbon and attacks this carbonyl, a four-membered ring will result. If the methyl group is deprotonated and forms an enolate and then attacks this carbonyl, a six-membered ring will result. We know that a six-membered ring is more stable than a four-membered ring, and that is indeed the product that is formed. And again, our eyes should be able to recognize the alpha-beta hydroxy carbonyl compound that was formed by an aldol addition reaction. I'd like to encourage you to tackle this discussion problem. This is the Robinson annulation reaction. Now that we have gone in-depth through carbonyl chemistry through several lessons, you are well equipped to understand how compound A and compound B react together in the presence of sodium hydroxide in water to form this fused ring system. Now on a personal note, this was my single favorite reaction mechanism when I took sophomore organic chemistry. Give it a shot.